नमस्कार मैं डॉक्टर शैरी खन्ना डॉक्टर खन्ना पैथ केयर से टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन वुड बी लिपिड प्रोफाइल लिपिड्स आर बेसिकली इनसॉल्यूबल और मोर कॉमनली नोन एज फैट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड स्ट्रीम दे हैव इम्पॉर्टेंट फंक्शंस लाइक प्रोवाइडिंग लॉन्ग टर्म स्टोरेज दे आर हॉर्मोन प्रोकर्सर्स दे आर पार्ट ऑफ द सेल मेम्ब्रेन दे प्रोवाइड इंसुलेशन but depending on whether the lipid is available in uh, adequate amount or if it is increased they are harmful products for the body agar cholesterols ya lipids ek normal value uh, normal amount mein blood mein milte hain to unki hame bahut zyada zarurat hai we can't function without lipids or fats but if they are in excess of the normal then they become toxic or they create problems for the body lipid profile test would include about 5 tests so that would include total cholesterol uh, then parts of them like hdl high density lipoproteins ldl low density lipoprotein vldl very low density lipoprotein and triglycerides lipids or uh, can be good lipids or bad lipids the good lipid is the hdl hdl or high density lipoprotein is called the good lipid or the good cholesterol uh, in a person who exercises it is normally found more than 45 isko normally depending on the age sex of the person it sh- its value should remain above 45 the normal values of total cholesterol should remain less than 200 of triglycerides should remain less than 150 talking about triglyceride one of the common reasons for triglycerides coming high has been found to be a uh, dairy intake the day before a high dairy intake is related to high triglycerides level the next day so whenever you go for getting this test done the most important thing is proper fasting if you are not fasting your levels will come high and then there will be a confusion about the test results at least 10 to 12 hours fasting is necessary before you do these tests avoid dairy products a day before and then go in for these tests why is an excess amount of cholesterol in the body harmful to us that is a very important question probably what happens is that these bad cholesterols get deposited in the ब्लड वेसल्स जिनको हम प्लेग या ब्लॉकेजेस बोलते हैं सो so, अगर ये ब्लॉकेज हार्ट में होता है तो हार्ट अटैक हो जाता है ब्रेन में होता है तो स्ट्रोक या पैरालिसिस हो जाता है और सबसे कॉमन चीज़ तो हाइपरटेंशन कॉज करता है सो इफ़ यू हैव हाइपरटेंशन इफ़ यू हैव अ फैमिली हिस्ट्री ऑफ हैविंग स्ट्रोक और हार्ट अटैक इट इज़ नेसेसरी दैट यू गेट दीज टेस्ट रन एवरी सिक्स मंथ्स if they are high and they are persistently high the first target is the first form of treatment would be a lifestyle management lifestyle management mein kya karna hai sabse important hai aapka diet restrictions and exercise if for about a month or two you are still doing diet you are you've made marvelous changes in your lifestyle and it is still not coming under control you should then go in for medications like statins which are available aapka koi bhi physician use prescribe kar dega but keeping your cholesterol levels under control is essential and very important one very small tip all of us feel ki hum boiled khana kha rahe hain aur hum tel bhi kam le rahe hain so humko definitely cholesterol ko control ho jana chahiye what happens is that you have to keep a check on your carbohydrates also agar aap carbohydrates uh, refined form mein le rahe hain jaise maida then that would definitely not be a good diet for you so you have to cut on your carbohydrates you have to increase your walnuts or nuts in uh, consumption high fiber diet le and uh, things like beans and legumes would an increase in this in the diet would help you um for any more queries please contact us or 
comment in the section below thank you